Welcome to um, Centering and Strengthening. This is a bonus class that we're having today. We're going to do inner and out, which is very different in the Centering and Strengthening world than it is in the body sculpting world, just with the variations. Everything else is the same. Um, in the meantime, we're going to warm up. Drop my earring. In the meantime, we're going to warm up. And you know what that means. That means take your feet shoulder width apart and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down. Last time up and down and let's go side to side. Put your toe behind your heel. You want to open the hip in front, right? Use the arms so we get the body warm. Eight, seven, six, head over tailbone. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep your feet in the same position, but rotate into the sides. Come on, lift, lift, lift. We're using our hips going upward this time. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. And you step, push your knee up to your hip. Yeah, you've got it. Three. Now remember number five, there's number eight. is going to be last two, a quad stretch. So right here, we take it behind and we lift it up. Now you can move on to something if you need to. Make sure you lift your body up for this, bring the knee to the side, pulling your belly button to your spine, release it down and go to the other side, go knee. Good, two, three, good, four, perfect, five, six, seven, and bring it behind and lift up, and you got it, perfect. Really release, and take your legs wide. I would like to have them forward, those feet forward, as we go into the glute heel, to heel, to heel, to heel. Good, nice, three, good. And sit behind it on one, so you've got that long quad. Arms go out to the side, rotate toward the bent knee and look up at the hand, perfect. Stay low, inhale, exhale, and bring it up. Look, look, look up. Nice. Bring your arms to center, tie under, reach, 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 and out to wide leg tabletop. And then bringing the toes and heels in until your sit bone with the part, curling yourself up, stacking those vertebrae as you lift yourself up and then we go side to side. Good. Nice. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, reach up, turn. Nice, rotate at the waist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, soften those knees. Feet are still straight ahead. Roll your shoulders back four times. Two, three, four, and forward. One, two, three, and four. Hand goes over the top of the head. Keeping the shoulder down, guide your head across. Make sure you keep your alignment. Don't let it fall forward. When get the scalenes and the cervical curve. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Other side. Good. Nice. Do what's reasonable for whatever you bring to this. Sweep your hands behind you. If this doesn't hurt your shoulders and lift up. Nice. Now, sometimes if it does hurt your shoulders, you don't want to go so far back. Just put your hands on your hips and lift your chest up. All right, top of your glutes and lift. Release it down. We're going to take our hip to our uh, rib cage, pushing up on the side. Keep those knees soft. Two, do an eight sets. Three, come on. Four, get everything loosened up and separated. Six, seven, perfect. And eight, both sides. Now circle. One, two, we're going in one direction for eight, four, five, six seven and eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, and breathe it up three times, and we're ready for inner and outer, and two, and three. Now, this is a combination of squats and plies. Now, if you get to something like the goblet squat or something that doesn't feel good on your knees or your body, come to what's basic and does work for you. You want to keep doing the powerful move. So let's start with our feet, sit bone width apart. So it's a little bit narrow, right? A little bit narrow. And we're just going to do 30 squats with the 20 pulse. So we're going to inhale down and expel up. Two, we're not going to rush. Three, because we want to sit into it for feel that elongation and that power. Five, good. Six, we'll speed up later. 
seven, because this is a long set. It can be slightly boring, nine. So I'm gonna think of the camera a lot so you can hear me 10, but what you want is your eyes to go down ahead of you so that you keep the cer cervical curve. Two, you're on your second set. Three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight. Watch the shoulders from coming to the ears. And 10, pull the belly button to the spine. Make sure you're always landing with that head over the tailbone. Two, feel yourself roll back onto those heels. Four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, sitting back. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, here we hit that 20, 19, that pulse. 18, 17, always check your feet. 16, 15, now your foot. 13, 12, keep going, 11, 10, may weave out, 8, 7, so always look down once a while, good, let's say 3, 2, 1, and make sure that you don't kind of instinctually pull out or pull in at some point, now we're going to hip width apart, same thing, bring it down, down, and 1, down, and 2, I'm giving your quad a little bit more time to reach back, 4, nice, Five, six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine, good job. 10, 20 more. One, exhale up, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, good job. 20, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale up, six, drop those shoulder blades. Seven, I know I repeat myself a lot. Eight, but sometimes we don't hear it the first time. Nine, and let's go 20. 19, sit back there. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and curl it out. Now we're going to go wider, shoulder width apart, slight turnout, right? So we want the support of the leg to start to move outward. We go below the knees if you can. Two, nice. Three, good. Four, perfect. Five, if you need to go a little bit wider to extend your leg or knee more, six, because that's what's happening, extending downward. Seven, good job. Eight, nine, and again, if you need to stick with the regular squat, that's okay. Two, perfect. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good job. Nine, and you have 10 more, let's go. One, lower down. Two, now you're not tilting over, right? Three, you're going straight down. You're kind of folding into yourself. Four, as you push back through that glute. Five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna hit it, 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and bring it up. Now take the legs out to the plie position. So they're, you're making sure your knee goes over your second toe, and we're going to do the same thing. Take it down, and 1. Now, a lot of people think this is as an inner thigh movement, three, because you're pulling in with your inner thigh, but look how much the quad is engaged, five. It's huge, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Now this is the one, keep going, where a lot of people have a tendency to fall forward and they don't feel the happening too, because it becomes a little tilt to begin with three. You're bracing your upper body and then it's a little more four. So you want to keep that five consciousness there. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, keep going, five, lift up, six, seven, eight, nine, you've got it, let's go, 20, 19, 18, 18 16, 15, 14, keep going, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to repeat all of that backwards without the pulses. So down again. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Exhale up. Nine, are you keeping that alignment? 10 is the belly button to the spine. How do we keep it a centering class if we're not focusing on our, our uh, alignment? Three, four, five. Don't push your feet hard into the floor. Six, you don't want to feel your uh, instep separate. Seven, remember everything's a lift. Eight, nine, good job. 10 more, one, good. Two, we always hold the position. Three, a little pause. Four, let those muscles get into it. Five, and then we use them. Six, we have to initiate them from the get go. Seven, eight, nine, and you can feel a little bit of calf here. And 20. All right, we're bringing it into the goblet spot. Remember, feet are slightly turned out. Your legs are at least shoulder width apart. You're coming down for 30, no pulse. Inhale down, and one, two, three, four. Now the reason I hold my hands here, five, usually with this, we're holding a weight in the middle, six, and sometimes we're lifting it up, seven, but we're doing so many push-ups later, eight, I thought we'd keep the upper body out of it, nine, 10, yes, push-ups later, inner and outer, one, two, three, good, four, nice, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten more. One, get low. Two, go deep. Three, you got it. Four, time for the other fan. Five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nice. Nine, and thirty. Now let's bring it in. Straighten those feet out to the hip width uh, squat. Sit back for 30. Inhale and exhale. Two, three. Feel yourself actually dropping those shoulder blades. Four, not flowing forward though. Five, it's just your shoulder blades, not arching. Six, right through the back. Seven, I know I repeat cues so many times. Eight, it's not about you, it's about the other person. Ten, one, two. Good job. Three, perfect. Four, five, nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 10 more. One, two, lift up. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and let's take it to that sit bone width, and that will then we'll start all over again doing something else. Down and one, down and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, twenty more. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect, nine, 20, last 10, one, two, three, four, sit back, five, six, yeah, it goes back there, seven, perfect, eight, nine, and 30. Now we're going down for three, up for one, 20. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So you can do inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, or you can do inhale, five, exhale. One, two, three, six. I like the big flow breathing. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 20. Wide nut squat. Let's do it some more. One, two, three, one. Your hip width apart. One, two, three, two. Now that can mean different things for different people. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. Your hips are usually inside the shoulders. Six. So when you go to goblet squat, you're going out the shoulders. Seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Pulling your belly button to the spine, right? When you come down, four. Pull it in there, too, because you're elongating right here. Five. So you one, two, three, six. So you want to pull it in at that moment. And again, harder at the top. Seven. One, two, three, eight. So inhale, exhale. Nine. One, two, three, ten. Out to your goblet squat. Slightly turn out those feet. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. You have 10 more. One, two, three, and every tailbone, right? Pulling that belly button to the spine. Two, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine, pull that belly in. And 10, and pull it in up here. Okay, go to that plie. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, keep your head over your tailbone. Again, it's easy to fall forward. Three on this one, four. We wanna brace ourselves, five, because this is more of a balance. Six, I can't pulse very much here, but you go for it. Seven, because the knee is unsupported, eight. And they're closer together, it's more supported. You have 10 more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, looking good. Get those horses, 10. Now we're going to do a second set to take us on our way back. Let's go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Pull that belly in. 
and one, two, three, ten. And for the goblet squat, keep those legs pointed out. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, and ten. I'm giving my knees a little breaks because of the part. I did a lot of cycling yesterday. One, two, three, one. And while it's good for it, two, three, two. It also fatigues it. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, you got 10 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine. And one, two, three, ten. Narrow stance. Get your heavy tailbone drop your shoulder blades. One, two, three, one. I always feel like that's when we have to correct for two, because we're not getting that big spread. Three, four that the other squats give us. Five. So we've got to be conscious of our whole alignment. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, good job. Two, three, nice. Four, five, sit back there. Six, you're doing great. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. Now we're gonna start some of this, the balancing stuff. So we're gonna bring one leg up for the outward and the other leg up on the inward. So take that leg back a little bit, the leg we're gonna lift. So come down, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. Remember which one you're lifting. So on your way back, you'll lift the other one, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, it's a pause, right? Ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. Four. Three. Two and one, two, three, one. Now let's go to hip width. We're gonna take one leg back. We're gonna get on our toe. We're not lifting on this one, but we're doing a one-legged. So you're on your toe, your heels lifted, and you're across from your heel on the back because that keeps the knees even. Let's go. One, two, three, one. Make sure you stay in the middle. You don't fall to the forward or the back leg. Three. Nice. Four, and again, remember what side you're working. Five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, good job. Ten, one, two, three, good job. Four, pull it in. Right here. Five, pull it in. Six, even while you're down there. Seven, you will feel a big opening. 
You're pulling it in down there. Eight, nine, and 10. Now for the goblet squat, I'd like you to take one leg out and the other leg long and out. So you're having one leg out, one leg long, not bent, and out. So you're coming one, two, three, one. Keep that long. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Slight turn out, long turn out. Four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. This is very non aligned. Yeah, nine. So if it hurts you at all, you can move that leg forward 10. You can sit it forward. It might feel better or go to your regular squat. 10, nine, really working something different and really out of position. Eight, seven, which is a great challenge, right? Six, last five. We do these with our legs forward, four. So this is just a variation on that, three. Nice, two, and one, two, three, one. Now remember, we'll do the other leg coming back. Get your wide stance for your plie and take one heel off the floor. Two, three, one, keep it off the floor. You don't have to move the position, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten more, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, and 20. Now we're gonna to switch to the other side because we're moving back to the beginning. One, two, three, one. So lift the heel of the other leg. Two, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 10 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. Get your head over your tailbone. Seven. Nice. Eight. Nine and 20. Now you wanna move that foot a little in and a little forward. The other one is in, bring it in for the goblet squat. So into your shoulder, sit into it. Let's go, a little turned out. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Again, you can straighten it if it hurts your knee. Three, or anything else, or your pride. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. Now, one of the good things about today's workout, and it doesn't require anything but your body. One, one, two, three, two. So this is a good one for on the road. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. So you might mark it on the videos for yourself. Six, one, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. I personally, hip width, slide that leg back, feet are facing forward. I personally would find it hard to do the whole thing without comfy because it's so redundant. So depending on who you are, one, one, two, three, two. Remember, it's the other leg and slide it back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. Are we holding that belly in? Two, three, we got 10 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then the sit bone squat with the lifted leg to finish out circuit three. And we have one more circuit, that's it. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. I touched my toe down, not my whole foot. Five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, and one, two, three, ten. All right, we're going to take it down and up to three. Final circuit. Remember, start with that first leg. Back, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three. Four. Now, if we had all day, one, two, three, we do ins and outs and kicks. Five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three. But I think we're hitting a lot of stuff. I mean, if we count the number of reps, nine, one, two, three, we've done a lot. Ten. So I don't need to feel bad about that, right? <laughs> one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, good, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, and ten, one, two, three. Take your hip width apart. Now, what we're going to do on this one is come up onto our toes. So it's just single. So you can use your hands on this, get your heart rate up a little bit. So it's down and one. Down and two, down and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. So you want to make it go long, two, and then you shorten the knee, three, by lifting up and then it lifts to the ceiling, four, right? Five, so it goes long back, six, and then long up. Seven, eight, nine, and 20. Now for the goblet squat, you're going to take the leg out. They're both turned out. So we're gonna go down, one, two, three. Got it? Squat, back, side, lift. Squat, back, side, four. Squat, back, side, five. Squat, back, side, six. Lots of balance going on here. Seven. Squat, back, side, eight. Squat, back, side, nine. Squat, back, side, 10. Squat, we're not going into goblet squat, we're just going to regular squat, 10. Squat, back, side, nine, we're descending. Squat, back, side, eight. Squat, Back side seven, squat, back side six, squat, back side five, squat, back side four, squat, back side three, squat, back side two, and squat, back side one. All right, out to that plie. It's going to plie a plie slide. So you might want to use your arms on this. So it's down and one, down and two, down and three, down and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get tough. Now 10, it's important that you get all the way out to your plie. One, don't make it too short. Two, hurt your back. Three, good job. Four, five, really reach it out there. Six, it's killing my knees, so I stop. Seven, 
eight, reach it up, nine, good job, and 10. Now we're gonna take it the other way because we're moving back to the end of our circuit. Let's go, down and one, down and two, down and three, make it wide, down and four, make it wide, down and five, come on, down and six, down and seven, down and eight, down and nine, down 20, 10 more, down and one, down and two, down and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, back to the goblet. This time the other leg is out. That will be that one. All right, so squat, back, up, one, squat, side, back, side, two, squat, back, side, sorry, it was turned out, three, squat, I didn't have my legs turned out, four, squat, back, side, five, squat, back, side, six, squat, back, side, seven, squat, back, side, ouch, eight, squat, back, side, nine, squat, back, side, 10 more, squat, Whew. nice, you've got eight more, and seven, and six, and five, this I'm modifying a lot, four, so I hope you're going lower than me, three, it's really cracking my knee now, two, and one, okay, hip width apart, turn those legs forward, go for the plyo, down and one, down and two, down and three, down and four, five, lift, six, Nice. So one of the things, seven, you make sure you're lifting from the heel, eight, and not out to the side. We have a tendency, nine, to crack at our ankles a little bit, 10. So straight up, 10, nine, you need to check your feet, eight, make sure they're both going forward, seven, six, make sure you sit back there, five, so don't just get down and go up, four, you have to hit that squat, three, good job, two, Lift and one and last thing. I know you're sad, right? All right, take a nice deep breath. One, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. I didn't direct you on your foot four because I just wanted to be awake, not pointed or flexed. Five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Nice. Last five, four, good. Three, two, Nice, last one, two, three, one. You did a great workout right there. I'm gonna ask you to come wide into a forward facing sumo squat and just hang out there before we go down to do our other work. Nice, and then invert and get those hamstrings nice and long, taking your head toward the floor and loosening up your back. Nice. All right, heel toe in. Soften your knees, drop, drop, drop onto those vertebrae. Lift up, go get your mat. So in and out with push-ups. I know you're tired, we're gonna do some child poses first and get um, breath. Now the good news on the push-ups is we do sets of 10. Yeah, so that's not gonna, it's not gonna feel like, I don't know, we'd do like 700 squat or reps in there. So yeah, I want you to get your hands under your shoulders and on your knees and hips aligned and then just sit. I want you to put your toes together and knees apart. And then sit back and reach. And then let's breathe. Let's breathe like for an entire 30 seconds.
And of course, let your body move. If your body wants to push back some more, reach forward some more, do it in this time. We have about 10 more seconds. All right, let's bring it up. Okay, so our, we're going to do the same kind of thing, but it's not all gonna be chest. It's gonna be tricep and chest. So we're gonna start with the tricep push-up. That's our inner push-up. So we put our hands under our shoulders. Make sure that they're like right under your shoulders so that you, your head and, and your upper body uh, your, from your chest up is above it, right? You're gonna walk those knees back or extend your feet. Your elbows are gonna come to the side for 10 Brewster. Hi, can I go down, please? I need to inhale and exhale. Thank you. Inhale and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't go back and 10. Now we're not stopping with the triceps there. We're gonna to come to our side, put our hand in front of our chest. Wrap the bottom arm around and do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, we're gonna do the other arm on the way back. So remember which arm you did. I did the one with the watch on. Then we're going to our regular push-ups for 10. Hands under the shoulders, walk the knees back. Let's go, elbows by the side. Inhale down and one, two, three. I did a lot of chest at the gym yesterday. Four, I can feel it now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. And 10. And we're going to take a sit back. We're not done with the round though. But we kept moving. So that was like 30 in a row. Now, wide arms. Wide knees, and let's do the back. One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, and 10. And we're gonna sit back, and then we're gonna come back on that surface. So take a nice deep breath right here. Wide arms again, make sure your chest is between them. Not back here, you're not reaching with those shoulders, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I want you to feel the back, of uh, the shoulder blades. Seven, clenching together, eight, like you're squeezing something, nine, and 10. All right, back to push-ups, regular push-ups, hands under the shoulder, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, you've got it. Nine, good job. And 10, sit back before we go to the other tricep. Remember, I did the one with the watch. I'm gonna do the one without the watch. So wrap your arm around, make sure your chest Hand is in front of your chest, down and one. Don't let the other elbow touch. Three, four, five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, you've got it, and 10. And our final part of returning from this circuit. So if you think about it, you have just done 100 push-ups when you finish this part. All right, your diamond fingers, make sure you're Right down here in the middle. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. And 10 and push back. All right, we're going to take another 30 second break. We're going to do one more of these journeys. That'll be 200, and then we'll be done. So sit back and breathe. 30 seconds, good. I just want you to get energy back into those body parts. I don't want your arms to be so much of a factor, except in the triceps. 
20, less than 20 seconds. Good. Nice. Keep going. Last six. All right. So the final set is a halfway all the way set. Bring those hands together underneath you. Half down, half one. Half down, half two. Half down, half three. Half down, half four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get over this time to my non watch side. All right, get that position, half down, half one. So keep going, half down. You want it as much in front of your chest too. Half down, you don't want to be touching the elbow on the floor three, unless it's completely hard for you, then you can put it in there four. And if you have shoulder issues, five, just grab those weights and do tricep kickback, seven, half down, half eight, half down, half nine, half down and 10. Right to our pushups. Let's go. Let's go because time is running out as usual. Over ambitious. All right, elbows are going back. Down, down, up one. Use your chest. Uh, you want to fill it. Separate and close. Separate and close. Three. Down, down, up five. Down, down, up six. Down, down, up seven. Down, down, up eight. Down, down, up nine. Down, down, up ten. Now we're going wide. Good job. All right. Wait a minute. That'll be 160. Yes, 160 wide. I'll add something so we can get to 200. Down, down, up one. Down, down, up two. Down, down, up three. Down, down, up four. You want to feel that in your back. Five. Down, down, up six. Down, down, up seven. Down, down, up eight. Down, down, up nine. Down, down, up ten. I'm going to do that set again. Down for three, up for one on the way back. Sorry, it's in your mind. All right, go back to those wide. Oh no, it has to be down, down, up one. Okay, down, down, up one. Down, down, up one. Down, down, up two. Down, down, up three. Down, up four, five. Nice, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna sit back. Just sit back because I rushed you through that one and I want you to start to feel a little bit less rushed. Okay, we're doing push ups. Walk it back. I keep walking off the screen, don't I? Walk it back. Let's go. Down, down, up. Down, down, up two. Down, down, keep going up three. Don't forget your breathing. It's hard up. Down, 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 up six. Down, down, up seven. You got it. Down, down, up eight. Down, down, up nine. Down, down, up ten. Side with the watch. My watch is saying nothing much. Okay. So yeah, I do have a little bit of a heart rate. All right. Wrap that arm around. Down, down, up one. Down, down, up two. Down, down, up three. Down, down, up four, five. I should do a class six where I do this part, seven first to do that long circuit, eight, and then the short circuit on the legs, nine. What do you think? And 10. All right, final bit. Five, four. All right, hands together. Down, down, up one. Down, down, up two. Down, down, up three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, you got it. Nine, good job, and 10. And guess where we're going? Back into job pose. Nice big breath. Close the legs. And then to a 30 second blink. So get into your position. In three, 
in two and one and lift off, just breathe. Pull that belly button to the spine. Push through those heels, eyes are down. This is nothing for you, nothing. Good, last 10 seconds. Beautiful. Five seconds. Three, two, kneel your knees down, walk them in, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hold the hold the curl. Now lift yourself up from it and bring your hand behind you if you can. I mean, if you can again. Hands on the hips and lift your shoulders. Back of the hands again. You get your triceps. And release them down. We're going to swing our legs around and bring ourselves down to the mat, separating our lower body from our upper body. Now we're going to everything flatten out. I want you to curl up, cross that leg over, and push it out, right? Push it out. We did so many different positions that I need to work around the entire leg. Now lift it off the floor and bring your hands under and look, just look straight ahead. Take a big inhale and exhale. Give it one more. Push. Now we're going to extend the bottom leg and then we're going to feel a little bit more. Slip that leg off. Rotate the ankle one direction and then the other direction and lower your head. Put your hand down and take that leg to the side. Let's not let that other cheek come off the floor. Now bend that knee, bring it to your chest, and then extend it up there. Reach forward if you can. You get inhale and exhale lower and lower. He knows what cold down means. That mommy will be free soon. And lower. And let's hold that for 20 seconds. Can see my watch. I'm now busy. And hold it right there. Extend it. Now it'll be 34. Make sure it's extended. Get into it. Two more seconds. Pull yourself up. Cross it over. Push it out. Bring your hands underneath. And just look straight through. Big inhale and exhale. Give it another push. Extend the leg to the ceiling, let it come in. And then slip that off, lower your head, rotate the ankle one direction and then the other, and then push it out to the side. Don't let the other cheek come off the floor. Bend the knee next to you, and then bring it up to your chest. Extend the leg, reach for it. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. This one wants to not move at all. Big inhale and exhale lower. And there's your 20 second hold. Make sure you breathe into it and you get um, as much movement as you can. So I'm lying right in front of the fan now. It feels very nice. Last five seconds. Lower that leg beside the other one. <clears throat> Put your elbows into the floor beside your weight, the palms facing each other. You're going to push your chest up and turn your head onto its crown. And lift, lift, lift with that chest and back that looks so hard. Then push and lower down and then counter stretch by curling up. And then lower it down and one more stretch. Put your heels into the floor and then bring yourself up to a wide bridge. So have those knees far apart, putting your arms toward the ceiling and reaching everything up. Reach it up, reach it up, reach it up, reach it up. 
and big inhale and exhale, lower it down, letting those knees fall out to recline butterfly. The bottom of the feet are together, the palms are lifted toward the ceiling, and you are in that position. You're going to fold one leg over and bring the other arm up, and we're going to pull up into downward facing dog. So hands under the shoulders, feet into the mat, take it up, push it down, and one heel down the other knee forward. One stretch. Push both heels down, chest toward the thigh. You've got everything all stretched out. Walk it in. Curl it up. Bird, 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 bird. Soft knees and washing. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time.